Hey everybody, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, today I have a couple of project shares. Um, I wanted to upload them today because it's Saturday and um, I thought that this would be a nice addition to Saturday Morning Makes, which uh, is a open collaboration that is started by, or was started by Jill Norwood. I will link her channel down below. And it's just a, you know, a chance to show everybody what you're making on Saturday mornings and uh, so everyone can follow that hashtag and see what uh, the people in our crafty community are making. And I also decided to uh, make this for Anna White's collaboration, which is So In Love February, which is another hashtag. And um, that's her theme for the for the month about like uh, doing crafting with like sewing and uh, love themes. So uh, I thought this would be good for both of them. So let me show you what I used and then I'll show you the projects that um, that I'm working on. Um, first of all, I used a bunch of fabrics from, these are mostly from Hobby Lobby and most of them are homespuns, which mean um, they're fabrics that are the same on each side. So it makes it really easy to use in your projects. They're woven and they're kind of like a, kind of a rougher, looser weave than a uh, regular like quilting cotton. So I use this one. These are all like primitive country kind of homespuns. Love this one. There's this as well. This one is an actual cotton fabric and you can see by the back of it, see it's just like a solid color and then the front is printed and it's also a much tighter weave than the homespuns. But um, I use this in my project as well. And this is another homespun. So I'm pretty sure all of these came from Hobby Lobby if you're interested in uh, buying any fabrics. I used to, bu used to buy homespuns at Joann's, but my store stopped carrying them. I'm not sure if all of them did or not, but um, Hobby Lobby has a nice selection, so that's a good option. Um, I use some buttons. I just keep some mason jars of buttons in my craft room, and this is like my darker mix. Uh, these are just like, you know, like a, a generic mix of buttons. So lots of prim colors, and I just, you know, top it with some fabric to make it look cute. I use this. Um, these are scalloped edge pinking shears and I was watching Marilyn G uh, a few weeks ago maybe and I'm not sure if these were the ones she showed but she did get some on Amazon and I didn't know that they had scalloped edge pinking shears. I thought they were all like zig zigzaggy but um, so I was so glad to see the, uh, Marilyn's video that they have scalloped edge. So I bought these from Amazon. I'll link them down below if you're interested as well. Very reasonable price and they cut fabric beautifully. So I got that and um, or I use that. I use some of this boxwood pick. This is from uh, Walmart, which I just picked up recently. Um, I think it was two something. But I used a bunch of it and, it, and there's still some left, a uh, good amount left. And this is good quality too. So I really like to get my, my faux greens from Walmart. I think uh, you get a lot for your money there. So there's that. And I used some hemp cord. I just picked this up at Hobby Lobby um, the other day. This is uh, newly on clearance. And this is a kind of a, a thinner hemp cord and it's a nice natural color. I also used this one, which I bought at um, Walmart a few weeks ago, and this is just a darker brown. This one is by Cousin DIY, and this is in the uh, jewelry making section. Let's see, I think that is all I used. I also, well, I used uh, regular scissors and hot glue as well. So, oh, and I used some fiber fill, just some like polyester fiber fill. I'll show you the bag. I had bought this at Walmart uh, a few months ago and I really like this one. It's the Polyfill brand. And all they had was this ultra plush one when I went. So I picked it up and it's nice. It's really nice and soft. Sorry for all that crinkling, but um, uh, these bags will last you a good long time. This one is 12 ounces, but 12 ounces is a huge bag of this really lightweight fiber fill. So good to pick up, have on hand if you want to do a quick little sewing project. Um, this, this project I would say is pretty much beginner for sewers. As long as you know how to use a sewing machine, basically you, you can do this project. So let me just move these over and I'll show you what I've made. 
Okay, so since Easter and spring are coming up, I decided to make some bunnies and some carrots. So I made a couple of bunnies. So what I did was um, I found a bunny silhouette on Google. I just Googled bunny silhouette images and I saw one that I wanted. I wanted a shape like this. So I saved the image and printed it out and then I traced my printout um, with the marker on top of some freezer paper. Uh, freezer paper you can find like with wax paper and foil and stuff like that in your grocery store. And the good thing about freezer paper is you can iron it onto your fabrics and it'll stick temporarily so it makes a, a perfect stencil. So what I did was I took the, uh, the freezer paper uh, shape of the bunny, um, iron it onto two layers of fabric and pinned it. And then what I did was I went ahead and cut around the line and then I had my bunny shape. So then uh, since the homespun is the same uh, for, you know, on both sides, I went ahead and just sewed it um, with my sewing machine just along the edge. I left the bottom open. I took the the bunny that I had sewn together and turned it inside out so that that's so that you wouldn't see the seams and then once it was turned inside out I filled it with the polyfill and then I went ahead and hand stitched the opening shut and then I had a bunny very easy uh, you know you could just just if you're gonna do something like this go for a very simple shape because then you don't have to worry about stitching you know complicated shapes then I just took a piece of the homespun and uh, tied it around his neck and there's the bunny. I made another one too. This one is using this the uh, the fabric, the cotton fabric. So then if you're going to do this then you have to cut it out um, right size right sides facing together. So when you turn it inside out the the printed side is on the outside. So if you have any questions about that let me know if you're interested in doing something like this. I know I usually do paper crafts but I thought I would just show you something else that I'm working on and how I do it. Um, also this is a homespun bow. You can take the individual threads and peel them or you know pull them off so it leaves a nice little frayed edge which I think looks really cute and country. So I have those two bunnies. Those are my bunnies and then I want to make some carrots too to go along with it. So here's one of the carrots I made. Now this was really, really simple to do. I just drew a freehand, um, kind of like a rounded carrot shape on some freezer paper and cut it out twice. So I went, I went around the edge of the carrot and sewed it, but I did not turn it inside out because I wanted the seams to show. So I just trimmed the seams with my scallop pinking shears. And I think that looks so cute. The, um, the scallop, pinking shears keep it from fraying as well. It frays a teeny tiny bit, but uh, you could still tell it's a scallop shape, which I really like. At the top, I sewed a gathering stitch uh, by hand, which is just like a loose running stitch. And before I pulled it shut, I took some of the boxwood picks. I just cut a few pieces off with the wire cutter and I added some glue to the ends of them and stuck them into the carrot. Then I took those the thread ends from the gathering stitch and pulled them and uh, gathered the top of my carrot. So then I just tied that shut and then I took a piece of uh, hemp cord or this one is actually twine. I just use regular twine for this. Wrapped it around the carrot and uh, tied it shut. And this is one of my buttons and that's the hemp cord, the dark brown one. And I hot glued that onto the twine bow. And uh, yeah, just a little homemade carrot. I made another one just like that. And then I made a couple different ones. This I used the striped fabric or striped homespun. I added a primitive star button. And yeah, I made a couple of those. So I'm going to be using these in some projects. Um, if you've been following me for a while, I made some gingerbread, um, like kind of a primitive buckets for Christmas. So I'm going to make some springy Easter ones and these will be in my Etsy shop when they're done. So um, if you're interested, go ahead and follow my Etsy shop and then you'll be alerted when I have new items in them. But it, it won't be for a little while. I have some other stuff I want to I want to add to that I haven't made yet. So uh, yeah, those are my projects for today. If you have any questions, let me know. I'd be happy to answer them if I can. Hey, thank you so much for joining me today. If you're if you're new here, I'd love it if you'd subscribe. Go ahead and um, 
leave me a comment and uh, I'd love to chat with you guys and see see what you think of my projects. So I will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.